Hi, this is the second part of our fuzzy logic topic. So we'll, we will look at the history of fuzzy logic. So Jan Lukowicz introduced the multi-valued logic at 1930s. And this interval represents the possibility that a given statement was true or false. Next, Max Black introduced the vagueness of the matter of probability. After that, Lord Fitzade, the professor and head of electrical engineering department at the University of California at Berkeley, published his famous paper, Fuzzy Sets. Zadeh rediscovered fuzziness, identified and explored it, promoted and fought for it. And even the most important part is he used the natural language term. So, Lord Fitzade is the founder of the fuzzy logic uh, theory. Fuzzy logic has been applied to various fields from control theory to artificial intelligence. It was designed to allow the computer to determine the distinction among data which is neither true or false. Something similar to process of human reasoning, like little dark, some brightness. Characteristic of fuzzy logic here are some important characteristics of fuzzy logic. It is flexible and easy to implement, mimic the logic of human thought, suitable method for uncertain or approximate reasoning, a view inference as a process of propagating elastic constraint, allow you to build nonlinear function of attributary complexity, and build with complete guidance of experts. Basically, this is a general uh, concept of fuzzy logic. We have our Cripps input, so meaning that our real life value, uh, for example, in this case, there are two. We have the ambient and brightness. Uh, we inject it into the fuzzy fire and inference engine based on rule base. And then we defuzzify back the fuzzy set and come up with the fuzzy output. So this is actually the rule base, sample of the rule base. So for example, if we have a degree of membership of tall men, okay, so if we have Chris at 208 height and we have Peter at 152, so in this case Chris have the highest uh, value of height and Peter have the lowest value of height. So in this case the highest one will be representing by one meaning that he's the tallest one and Peter by zero and ranging between it varies the value from zero to one so what is a fuzzy set a fuzzy set can be simplified defined as a set of fuzziness or fuzzy boundaries so let X be the universe of discourse and its element to be donated by X in classical set theory, Cripps set of A is defined as a function of A called characteristic function. So you can see here we have a value between 1 and 0. If x is element of A, then it is 1. If not, then it is 0. As in fuzzy set, can be simplified or defined as a set of fuzzy boundaries. In fuzzy theory, fuzzy set A of universe x is defined by the function of UA called membership function of set A. So we have something like this. So we have the membership function of set A. If 1, meaning that X is totally in A. If 0, X is not in A. However, between 0 and 1, it is partially in A. So this degree, a value between 0 and 1, so the maximum is 1, and the lowest one is 0, and represent the degree of membership also called as membership value of element X in a set of A. So, shows Cripps set and fuzzy set. So we can see the set of short, average and tall men. For Cripps set, we have a very fine boundaries here. If it is 169, then it is considered short. If it is 170 or 171, then it is considered average. So this is not very fair. So
So if we have something like this in fuzzy set, so we have a degree of membership here for short, we have average, and we have tall here. So this shape is actually selected based on the characteristic of our input. So if we have height here, if Ali is 150, Ali is considered high, is, high, is considered short. However, if uh, Abu here it at 160 is still one, meaning that Abu is still short. However, as uh, this value increase, for example, here is Omar. If Omar is somewhere here, means that Omar is slightly short, not that short, not exactly very short, something like here. As confident as one, somewhere here it is slightly short. Or if oh, if um, we have another name, um, let's see, uh, Fahim. If Fahim is here 169, so it is actually not short. However, he is somewhere average. Okay, so average is giving the highest confidence level. So for this second example, if Abu is here. Had one eight four, so Habu is giving the value here, shooting at and intersecting at the average part here. So we can see that it's not that average. However, he is tall. Okay, so this is the way we read the fuzzy set. Fuzzy set uses a common function such as triangular, trapezoidal, and Gaussian. Okay, so we can see different shape. So in, for membership function, we may use standard function to represent fuzzy set. The membership function which are often used up in practice include S function, pi function, triangular form, trapezoid form, exponential form, or Gaussian. It depends on the behavior of our input and output. So if we're using tripositive uh, membership function, it can be represented something like this. This is for the triangular. This is for the S mem function. We have the pi membership function. And basically, in a fuzzy logic system, we have input, we have our logic, and we have our output. For example, if our input is temperature, color, weight, speed. So we'll fit it inside our logic. So here the reasoning is made by the expert or we replicate the expert decision. So for example in this case if temperature is hot then increase the power fan. Okay the fan power. So the output is the speed of the fan something like that eh? so for this is just an example for for you to understand what is actually fuzzy logic doing looking back at the crips uh, subset or fuzzy subset of x so here we can see that this is actually our crip subset of a however in fuzzy we have a fuzzy subset there are certain range here introduced here in terms of fuzziness of the set A. If we refer back here, if we usually in crypt set we have something that's very sharp here, 0 and 1. However, if you introduce fuzziness, there will be a bit of slope here that to introduce the fuzziness of the system here and here. Okay, this is just an example. So if you are tall, tall in Asia, perhaps different from tall in Europe. And tall in MBA. So we can see that in Asia, perhaps the tall is between this range until 190. In Europe, it is between this range and until this range. Okay, 190 here. Okay, so we have the uh, middle part is here. So we have tall in NBA something like this here. So if you can see that the representation of tall may vary depends on the environment or the area. So if we have something like this in fuzzy logic, it's easier for us to uh, restate back the tall range of definition in the membership function. So you will not have any problem and you, you do not have to redo a lot of things if the tall defin definition 
uh, is different between country you just need to reset back the range of your membership function so it is very interesting in fuzzy logic so linguistic variable and hedges what is actually linguistic variable linguistic variable is something like very slow slow medium fast and very fast and hedge is something like a little very and slightly so how does this parameter use in fuzzy logic so linguistic variable and h is representing the statement for example we have the statement john is tall implies that the linguistic variable john takes the linguistic value so for example if wind is strong then sailing is good if project duration is long then competition risk is high if speed is low then stopping distance is short the range of possible value of linguistic variable represent the universe of discourse of that variable it is a statement not a value meaning that the value can be changed later however the statement is there this is an example of linguistic variable and their range. Okay. For example, you have a linguistic variable here, you have notation, and you have numerical range here. So this is a normalized range. Okay. If you have very short, short and medium, you can represent it as Vs, S and M. So for very short, perhaps you define it as 0 until 0 0.3 short between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 medium between 0 0.4 and 0 0.7 you can see here that they are overlapping occur here between 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 0 0.5 and 0 0.4 so there will be an overlapping to your graph if it's not overlapping that it is not a fuzzy system next on the small medium large so we have s m l so the numerical range normalized perhaps is 0 until 0 0.35 medium 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 0 0.6 and 1 so the, the percentage of overlapping depends on your system and normally people will do overlapping between 30 percent of the range or it may be varies depend on the application we have low here and a very small small rather small so you can see the different the lowest one is zero the higher highest one is one as for everyone here okay so we can see the different this is actually uh, it should be high here and you have one here okay if you apply a ver uh, linguistic variable and hedges here you can see that this is actually represent the short if you put very then the graph will be a bit different slightly here it will be very short so you have average here if you have tall here and put very tall then we have this slightly and um, different graph shapes here so when you put h so a little may be represented by a mathematical expression by power of 1.3 slightly by the power of 1.7 vary by the power of 2 and extremely by the power of 3 very very power of 4 more or less somewhat and indeed it will represent a different shape especially for practical application